Hey friends, welcome back to Charisma Simple Living. On episode 5 of Fall in Love with Autumn, we're going to create this DIY of a fall welcome sign for my front door. We're going to use two of these beware signs, only using the back. You can use the front of it if you want to and use a, you know, something to clean it up with, uh, but I'm just going to go easy, make this a really easy DIY and use the back of it. We're gonna use some popsicle sticks, which you can get a bunch of these at Walmart for really cheap, like $3, and you can get a whole pack. So I'm gonna use that for the back of the Beware sign to hold it strong together. I also bought this little adhesive sticker sign at Wal at Target, I'm sorry, <laughs> and it was $3. And I love these adhesive signs because they're stickers and you can use them for anything. A small wreath from the Dollar Tree, some burlap leaves, some of these pumpkins that you actually just hold, they like stand up by themselves, they're really cute, some foliage of course, paint, I love this burnt lumber paint, it's really pretty, got it from Walmart for $3. So. To begin this project, you are going to take off the ribbon at the top of the beware sign. And then once you do that, we are going to start the hot gluing process of putting these two beware signs together using the popsicle sticks. Make sure that they are placed in the same lines, nothing is away from each other, that way they hold very well. And you are just gonna pretty much make it like a band-aid. So add some hot glue and then put the popsicle sticks on there going all the way down. And the popsicle sticks are important in this project because I'm trying to give it almost like a shutter effect, like a shutter for a window. So a very like, shuttered look <laughs> for this if that even makes any sense but you will understand once it's completely done and I think it's really gonna give it the rustic look I am looking for this fall I haven't seen this done anywhere else with the popsicle stick so I think this is going to be very unique and notice how I have some spots where you know the popsicle sticks are not located and that's for an important reason now we're gonna start painting. And I am so loving this paint color. I bought it from Walmart and it was around $3 and it has lasted me for about <laughs> a year and a half now because I only use so much of it. For this project, it's just perfect because I really want that dark look of wood on um, my fall sign. And while that dries, let us look at Barbara Streisand for a while. So now that the sign is dry, we are going to use this antique white to make the fall sign. I love antique white only because it really has a very nice color and very old look to it. Now. Also, what I love about this project is that the popsicle sticks has a very, again, a very shutter look to it. Like it's by a window, it's a piece of wood that, you know, just looks like a shutter, like a, a part of a shutter. And it's going to have that nice bumpy look, so you'll be able to see it when you have your letters there. You'll see that there's like little lines there. And I really love that because I just wanted to make it different. And, you know, and it really has a very rustic look, especially with the fact that I'm pretty much freehanding this. I don't have any stencils. I just wanted to keep it very much like this came from a farm. You know, farmers don't always have perfect utensils around to make the most perfect signs. And that works because it's very rustic and very familiar and very farm and, I don't know, kind of family friendly, I guess if you could say, just, it's inviting, it's very inviting. And not family friendly, it's inviting. And it makes you feel like 
it was just done a day ago and it's put out there for you to enjoy and to welcome the season and I love that I you know I could have done the whole utensil thing but I really wanted to do it just just on the go you know it's not perfect but it really is perfect for this sign and there you have it the fall sign is not completely done yet but at least the letters are on there you are going to want to take off the little, I guess, holder thingy at the bottom there that holds the pumpkins up. You're going to want to take that off of the small pumpkin um, and that way it's going to be at the top of the fall sign. Now, this is going to be used for a good reason because I'm making a bow and I need something to really hold it onto. Or you can just keep it just like that where it says welcome friends and then it has fall at the bottom. So, you know, you could... You can fix this up however you want, but it really is a great idea. Um, I love the fact that I'm putting this small little wreath at the bottom of the fall sign. That way it kind of gives you an idea of fall and then a very nice wreath that you know goes with it as well. It's not a big wreath, it's a small wreath. And I love these small wreaths at the Dollar Tree because they come big or small. And for a project like this, you really want a small wreath to decorate and I love decorating my wreaths with the Dollar Tree foliage because there's so many wonderful colors from oranges to reds to a really nice you know warm cream colors and I just it's just to me it really gives it a very breathtaking look you know of fall. Now let's take off these little wood stickers that I got from Target. So we're only going to use a little like leaves to add to the sign and they are s sticky but I'm going to add some hot glue to just to make sure that it sticks very well. I'm going to use this fabric that was 97 cents from Walmart. They have a bunch of these at Walmart near the fabric aisle and I love the pumpkins. It's just so warm and so colorful. I love it. You're going to use any kind of string. I'm going to use this twine string to tie the middle of it. That way you have the perfect bow. It's a simple, easy way of making a bow. And I'm going to hot glue the sides. See? Perfect bow. DIY perfect bow <laughs> and you're gonna just hot glue and just you know fold the ends to the middle there like that that way you have your aka perfect bow so do the same on the other side and now we're gonna use the burlap leaves from the Dollar Tree which I have been using a lot for all my DIYs this season and we're just going to kind of hot glue all of them just in as you can see i can't even kind of a bow like frame for the material to um go be placed on top of and it's pretty easy just hot glue all of them together um in a very nice scattered look like this and that way the material has a great background to be placed on so it doesn't have to be perfect just something where it's placed on and what you're gonna do is how we overlapped the other material you're gonna do the same thing just flip it right under your hands just like this and you're going to hot glue it that way it gives it a very fluffy look so it looks like it's popping out almost like a 3d effect um, happening with the bow 
So all you do is just flip it over your fingers, hot glue it, and there you have it. It's really, really simple and it looks beautiful. So now we're gonna add a lot of hot glue to the welcome friend sign. You can just keep it like that if you want to and add some leaves to the back of the welcome friend sign, but I'm going to use this to put the bow on top of. So put a generous amount of hot glue and add the bow to the top and just put pressure on it and there you have it. I added a flower to the middle of the bow just to give it a little something and a few leaves to where the L are there, you can see that. And then just added, of course, a few more burlap leaves to the wreath, some more flowers, and to the bottom of the sign, the other um, a little pumpkin there, uh, just to give it a finishing touch because it doesn't need that little um, stand to hold it up, but it is perfect to just end the whole um, sign with and it gives it that perfect orange color at the bottom there and it really is the perfect sign For your front door again. You don't need anything just a few items for this, you know freehand it make it look very rustic add your touch to it and bring your fall season to life this holiday season. I hope you have a great weekend friends. I hope you have a fantastic Friday full of blessings and from my family to yours I am sending you lots of love. Bye!